No, I, I hear Liam calling you. Go, um, give him a kiss for me, and I'll call you later, sweetheart. Uh, how'd you know I was staying here? I didn't. What are you doing here? Oh, I left Jason because of you. I'm just so glad you're here. I don't know, I guess I'm happy that we finally get a chance to talk this through, you know? Or not? I guess I deserve that one, huh? You and Kate both. Remember when I said I was gonna kick her ass across the lobby? Well, I just did that. Well, I'd let you kick me or hit me as many times as you want, as long as that means you hear me out. I didn't buy your excuses before. I'm certainly not going to buy them now. Carly, what you saw up there that night, it was not... I wasn't supposed to see. No, no, it was the only time it ever happened. Stop! Can you stop? I mean, after everything you've done, betraying me, humiliating me, you're now going to treat me like an idiot? I'm not going to believe a word that comes out of your mouth. I should have told Jason everything. As soon as it happened, we should have gone through it together. Yeah. Still doesn't give him a right to throw you out. I left on my own. Then he let you go? You're rape, Sam. None of this is your fault. I lied. I was trying to protect him. But I hurt him. You're hurting, too. He doesn't trust me anymore. I mean, the look on his face, the way he looks at me, I just... I couldn't be there. I had to go. Oh, and I... I left with this. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? What is it? Um, it's Jason. He is the dragon. Mm. I'm the phoenix. We got them for each other. It just symbolize double happiness. I'm sorry. No, I should have listened to you. I mean, you told me how upset you got when Natalie lied to you, and I should have told Jason everything. But I didn't. You had your reasons. Yeah. And I think Jason would have been able to accept all of it. But the fact that I opened those test results in front of you. And in that terrible moment, instead of going to my husband for support, I turned to you. If I did anything to, uh... No, don't. Stop. All you did was listen when I needed it. No, you know what? I feel bad. I just... Uh, I, I wanted to help. I didn't want to cause any trouble for you and your husband. Jason but... and I are fighting because we couldn't face the real problem. I mean, it's not about you. Jason doesn't know if he can love this baby. That's why I'm here, so we can have some time apart. And hopefully figure out what happens next. What room are you staying in? Two oh four. Oh. What's wrong? Two oh five. Oh. Yeah. Look. Uh, maybe given everything that's going on, maybe um, us living next door each other is not such a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. The downstairs said it was the only room left, and I'm really tired, and I. I want to go in that room, and I'm going to pass out on the bed. I mean... Okay. So we're neighbors for at least one night. Okay. I just need a quiet place to do some thinking. Okay. It was only that one time. I swear. Kate says you guys have been together for months. It's a lie. What about the lipstick on the collar? That wasn't real. You were I mean, in was. her office no, today! No, I was. Yes, you I was. You were with her that time I left you guys okay, here. Okay, yes, I was, but... Just stop! Oh, my God, stop making excuses, okay? Because Kate was more than happy to tell me everything. All the great sex that you've had. How many times you've been together. How you guys couldn't get enough of each other. That's all a lie, Carly. Really? It yes. wasn't great? No. It, it wasn't great, no, Johnny? No, it wasn't. There was no affair, Carly. Just listen. It only happened that one time. Yeah. Everything else that happened was just something that Kate made up. Why would she make it up? That's I, crazy. Yes, exactly. She is crazy. The woman is mentally ill. 
She's completely out of her mind. What are you talking about? I'm trying to say that the, the woman you saw me with is not the woman you think she was. Oh, that wasn't Kate Howard in your bed. No, it was, but she... You're not making any sense. I'm trying to say Kate Howard has a split personality. This is the best you can come up with? Kate Howard has a split personality? It's the truth. No. Yes. You have a split personality. You know, the nice guy that cares about me, and then there's the guy that wants to sleep with Kate Howard. No, Carly, I'm being serious here. Kate has two completely different people living inside of her. Usually Kate's in control, but sometimes the altar takes over. Oh, and you've seen this transformation. Yeah, it's completely freaky. You know what's freaky? Is you actually thinking that this story is going to justify what you did to me. I, I mean, I, ha I have to give you points for creativity, but it's a lie, Johnny, and I don't believe a word of it. Does that go on all day? Uh, that's the first time I heard it. <sighs> Lucky me. Do they have any vending machines around here? A damn fine one at that. Every snack known to mankind. Oh, yum. Well, that's good, because if I can't sleep, I'm going to drown my sorrows in some chips. Yeah. Down the hallway, second door on the left, all right? You might have to hit it a couple times on the side if you want something to drop from the top row. Thank you. Thanks for the tip. Anytime. I've heard enough lies for one day. Oh, uh, please. Do you want me to hit you again? No, I don't, but I'm being serious. Kate really is two different people. Do you take turns having sex with both of them? It, it's not like that. Kate doesn't even know what Connie's up to. Connie? Yes. Co the other personality calls herself Connie Falconeri. And that's what you called her when she was in your bed. Yes. Except Connie is not a multiple personality. She's a phony who made up a name. No, no, no. See, when you found us up there, she was acting different, right? Was that woman acting like Kate Howard? Oh, is that because she was being Connie? Yes. Kate doesn't even know what's going on. She didn't even know Connie's plan until she woke up in my, in my bedroom. Oh, my God, this is unbelievable. I, right, I know, and that's why she's seeing a therapist. Dr. Keenan. Yes. Mm. Kate is losing complete track of time. She's waking up in places having no idea how she got there. Who told you this, Kate or Connie? Well, I guess both of them did in their own way. But when she woke up in my bedroom, she was horrified. That, I believe. If Kate had an alternate personality that was a loud, trashy slut, Kate would be horrified. Right. Too bad the story's a crock. It's not. That's why she's seeing the therapist, so she can get rid of Connie forever. Many but people Connie won't go away. see therapists. It doesn't mean they have a multiple personality, and neither does Kate. Carly... This is for real. This condition is real. Oh my God. It's called dissociative I, I, uh, DID. DID. Dissociative identity disorder. Here, you can look it up. I don't need to look it up. You believe me? Kate and I just, we got in a fight, and she had a bunch of medical papers on their bag. They fell on the floor. I picked one up, and it had DID at the top. Did you ask her about it? No, she got all defensive and snatched it away from me. See, she doesn't want anybody knowing what's going on. Sonny doesn't even know. But you understand. I'm trying to. I'm reading this book about it. These two women in Pennsylvania, they, they've had it for years. It's a mother and a daughter. Okay. Two yeah. Kates. That's what you're talking about here. Two Kates. Well, no, one Kate. Connie oh is a completely different person. See, Kate blacks out when Connie takes over. She has no idea what she's up to. This is the craziest thing. Yes. I know it is. And the girl's a complete freak. That's the one who came on to me. Why? Just tell me why. Okay. Connie hates Sonny. She holds Sonny responsible for Kate being shot on her wedding day. She thinks that Sonny's gonna get her, them, killed. So she wants to keep them away from Sonny for good. Connie wants to break up Kate and Sonny. Do you realize yes. how that sounds? Yes. And, and, and I would not believe it myself if I didn't live it. All right, look, Connie knows how much Kate loves Sonny, right? She knows that no matter what Sonny does, how bad he hurts her, she'll come crawling back. So she came to me with that proposition that if Sonny found me and Kate in bed together... It would they... break them up. Yes, that was her plan. And there was nothing that she was not going to do to get me to cooperate. All right, let's say I believe this whole story. It explains to me why Connie wanted to sleep with you. Why were you so willing to sleep with her? I didn't want to sleep with Kate. Connie, then. Neither of them. So you gritted your teeth and suffered through it. Wow, you're a hero. You're Just a hero. Please, let me say this, please. Go ahead. All right. So the first time Connie showed up here, I had no idea what was going on. But I got to admit, part of me did want to go through with it. Let me guess which part. 
She made me an offer to get revenge on Sonny, to wreck him, to make him vulnerable. And after what he did to me, after humiliating me in public by exposing that secret about Claudia... You were tempted. Yeah, but I turned her down many times. Why? You hate Sonny. I mean, Connie's offer was a dream come Because true. as bad as I wanted to hurt Sonny, I couldn't stand the idea of hurting you. Somehow you managed. Okay? Anthony knew about this whole thing. And they were coming to me from both sides. Every time Sonny would provoke me, there they were. But you know what? I fought them off. And then Sonny skated on those murder charges, and he managed to make me look like the bad guy. Then he wrecked my business venture at the hospital, turned me into his cop son, and all the time he was gloating about how I would never touch him. So you know what? Yeah, I had had it. It was you to kill him or... or sleep with his girlfriend. Yeah, and Connie showed up at the wrong time. I was pissed, and I tried to turn her down. But I was too hot. I wanted to make him hurt. I wanted him to suffer as bad as he made me. And you didn't give a damn what it would do to me. Kate, Connie, they, they mean nothing to me. They're a means to an end. A way to hurt Sonny, that's it. So was I. Come on, you know that's not true. Carly, what we had, what we have, whatever, it's real. What I feel is real. Please. Let me make it up to you. Come on. I knew I was taking a chance with you. Maybe I'd be sorry. I never thought you'd hurt me like this. I hope it was worth it. Give a damn about Sonny, all right? I wish I never heard the bastard's name.